Welcome. Career and finances. What is next is today's timeless pick a card. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Pile one, we have the lapis lazuli. Pile two, diamond. And pile three, pyrite. Take another deep breath. And exhale. Timestamps will be in the description box. Pause the video now if you need more time to choose your pile. See you at your pile. Welcome, pile one. If you chose the lapis lazuli, this is going to be your reading about what's next for your finances and career. So we have the number 30 there that could be significant to you as well as the number three. You could have Gemini in your chart. Something about communication definitely coming through with the color blue and with the number three being connected to Mercury in the third house of communication and mental activity. You could be thinking a lot, thinking too much, maybe overthinking things. Uh, maybe there's a lot of people who are in your ears about things. Um, maybe you're listening to a lot of different opinions or you're researching a lot or you're learning a lot or you're just listening to a lot of videos about how to make money, new skills, uh, what you should do next, and career path and all of that. I also feel there could be a lot of distractions around you right now or you could be very distracted with different types of information like it seems like you you haven't realized yet that you already have the answer what you seek the answer you seek is already within you and it seems like there's all this um, stuff going on around you that you're looking for externally you're looking for answers outside yourself through other people Maybe you're networking, communicating, asking, maybe overthinking things, or you're researching a lot, trying to find answers, but I feel there's an overload of information going on here. I see information overload, overload and um, it seems like the reason why you haven't found like this one um, path to follow is because you're leaving this one very important thing aside, which is your intuition and your spiritual truth. And that is where you're going to get your true enlightenment, is not by flooding your mind with information or thoughts or logic or um, other people's opinions or fads or trends or courses. It, it's it's really quieting your mind. It's really the opposite. It's really pulling back from all of that noise, all of those, because those right now, it's almost like there was a reason why you went looking for information and you did all this, but it's like right now it's saying it's time for you to pull back from all of that and just move away from thinking about the matter, move away from learning about things, move away from talking to people, thinking about this, and do something else entirely. Like, it's almost like they're saying, thinking is now forbidden. Talking is now forbidden. So what can you do instead of that? Maybe you got stuff to do around the house, or maybe you need to move your body and exercise. Maybe you just need to sit in silence, or rest and sleep, or um, cook, or just do something that is not thinking and talking. Um, or looking for information or analyzing, okay? That's what's being said here. Because if you do quiet your mind and if you do something else that has nothing to do, it could even be playing, okay? But as long as it's not thinking and speaking. And when I say thinking and speaking, of course, I'm not saying that as a human being, you're not subconsciously always thinking. But you know what I mean, right? So there seems to be a need for that right now. Um, okay. Right. Um, so next you got the mountain with the number 33. Okay, we have 30, then we have 33. So 333. Three, three. Angel number 333. Three, three. So 33 is connected to the Ascended Masters. And this is why you have this strong inner vision. You have this strong inner vision because you are, you are a very evolved soul. 
And I don't think that you're fully aware of this. And the reason why you may not be fully aware of this is because of the fact that because of all this noise and this dissonance and all this, um, these distractions, because that's what sometimes what goes on externally really is, you maybe doubt yourself. You doubt that inner truth, that truth, that, that spiritual truth that you've already known. And so at the same time, you feel quite out isolated in, in your knowledge here where you don't find many people agreeing or understanding you. And you know what? Um, maybe they're not meant to. Um, they don't have to for you to follow what your inner compass is showing you, okay? Not everyone is, unfortunately, not anyone, not everyone is able to be successful. They're not able to have this vision and and it takes courage to really um, walk on a path on your own, right? When other people are saying, uh, contradicting what you know to be efficient and true and for you, right? And so you're faced with this mountain and there's this path that, that sometimes seems unsurmountable, but you're being called to the to, to the top of that mountain, right? And you're way closer to the top of the mountain than you even realize. Um, the only difference to get to the top of that mountain between where you are now, which is very close, is is taking action from your heart space. It's having the courage. It's um, having a strong sense of your core of who you are in, in truth and not allowing external energies to affect your path in moving upward um, but you have your eye on that peak you have your eye on that peak and so if anything to get to that peak the way is through allowing your intuition to take over now um, I feel your intuition has gotten you this far but there's there's a sense where you feel stuck here because you may observe other people or your other people are trying to give you their input or whatever it is or things you're learning that other people are spitting out there in terms of courses and knowledge and skills or whatever. And you know, not all of it is valid just because someone is on TV or on a screen or popping up as an ad, it doesn't mean they have all the answers or they have the answers for you, okay? <clears throat> but you have your eye on the top of that mountain. That's where you that's where you want to go. Okay. And that is for you because if you have the eye at the top of that mountain, the only thing is that you feel isolated. The problem that I see here is that you feel isolated on your ascent. You feel not many people are accompanying you. And you know, unfortunately, that's going to happen. Um, I'm just thinking if there's anything else to say. We have conjunction and empowerment. But the good news is that you may feel like you're isolated, but that's because you're boxing yourself in, and that's how you see yourself. You don't see that, yes, well, the people around you may not be following you or may not understand you. It doesn't mean that you're not going to find other people and also going through the same where they are, and they're also feeling isolated because the people around them don't understand them and don't share their vision. But I see what's next for you when it comes to career and finances is that there's going to be at least one person you're going to meet or join combine forces with who does share your vision in some way, shape, or form, okay? I do see you joining forces and strengthening by getting together with an ally here. And so together you're gonna you're gonna support each other through and you're gonna make it to the top of this mountain together. Um, so I do see a form of a somewhat of a collaboration going on here. Mars. You could have Aries in your chart, doesn't have to be. Um, I do see that so here's what. If you've been networking, if you've been networking, I see there's going to be one person at least that's going to pop, stand out, and you're going to vibe and you're going to collaborate on something here. Or if you're at a job and you feel lonely, there's going to be a colleague that comes in or someone you meet or someone you vibe with. 
or this is a new project, whatever this is in your career, whatever this means for you, I see someone whom you meet or you get to know better and you understand that together, combined, you can empower each other and take action toward the future. And this person, this this meeting of the minds and the souls and this person who shares the same vision is this this connection is going to motivate you to take action it's going to make you more it, it's going to help you with this sense of taking action from the heart space which is the definition of courage right and so um there's going to be this kind of healthy competition with this person as well i do see this now there's another thing i'm seeing here exercise exercise would be very beneficial to you and i know well, we're talking about career and finances. Well, maybe your career involves some form of exercise. I don't know. And that may just be, maybe you're, you're in a, some sort of competition, maybe even boxing. I don't know exactly. Maybe you workouts. I don't know what this is. But if that is not your line of work, and this is not like validation that this is your reading, I'm seeing that although your job may have nothing to do with exercise. Again, I did mention that right at the beginning of the breathing here, I say getting out of your mind, exercising, because that will activate all these different um, endorphins, right? These happy hormones that will help you work through pain, that will help you feel uplifted, that will help you also um, compute when it comes to your thinking process in a way that is more positive and it will get you out of um, this overthinking maybe you're going to meet someone at the gym okay that is going to have the same kind of drive you do and you're going to drive each other to take action all right let's see you have writing, so some of you are writers or will become or working on it. You feel inspired, teach, and entertain with the words that you write, hence maybe all that overthinking possibly. Now, this is not going to be everything for everyone. There's a lot of people watching justice. Some of you may work in the justice system. It says your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. Okay. We have speakers. Some of you speaker. I'm seeing possibly lawyers in courthouses. Okay in court cases, but your life purpose involves your skills of oration. Yeah, I do see with the three and the Gemini energy here. Um, yeah, your um, life purpose could definitely um, be third house oriented. Uh, it could be, or Gemini, you could have like your north node in the third house or Gemini or something like that. Um, but doesn't have to be, okay? You're on the right path. Okay, so whatever, wherever you are, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Even if it doesn't seem like you're getting anywhere, they're confirming that you are on the right path right now. And then we have light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. Through your words, apparently, uh, or through your involvement with justice in some way, shape, or form, okay? Um, and balance. So for some of you, you're working in a field that is helping bring people back to balance in their life. Um, and others of you, you're working in the justice system. Some of you are working when, with communication in some way, shape, or form. And others of you are uh, in the field of exercise or sports or something like that. But you're on the right path, okay? And if you're thinking of becoming an author or writer, your words will inspire, teach, and entertain as well as heal other people. Um, if you're thinking you should become a speaker, yes, because that will that is connected to your life purpose. And if you're thinking that, then you need to do something about it. Um, if you're in the justice system, that is also the right path for you. Or if you're doing some form of exercise um, for career, okay. But let's see. King of Swords, okay, so that's all that mental activity and that ability to communicate that is very clear and concise and straightforward and fair as well, fair, okay, 
Seven of Wands, standing up for what you believe in and defensive. So for some of you, you, you are a defense lawyer or a judge, but you fight the good fight is what I'm seeing here. The tower, something here is gonna, gonna change about how you view your career or how things have been going and it's gonna be sudden and unexpected and a result of you um, defending yourself or still fighting for what it is you want. Yeah, I mean, it's been, it's, it's been, it hasn't been easy this whole journey when it comes to your career and your money. But yeah, mainly I do see you um, fighting for being more, being more courageous, really taking action from the heart space when it comes to your uh, career, all right? And the advice here is to keep going because you're getting somewhere here. Now let's, let's just clarify, Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're very worried and that's that overthinking here, maybe some sleepless nights. So it's getting the best of you and it's actually holding you back. Queen of Wands. Um, th this is talking about you adopting a new attitude. And it's, it's instead of thinking, start doing. Doing without thinking, okay? You've thought enough. You know what to do. Now it's time to start taking action and allowing your soul to guide you and allowing your higher self to guide you. Seven of Pentacles. It's like something that there was a, a faulty foundation that crumbled and it's been a while since you've been trying to rebuild this, but you're getting there. Seven of Pentacles is on your way to the eight, nine, and ten of Pentacles, which is wealth. So you're very close to this point where um, you are financially stable. Two of Wands, but there's some planning required still here. So the advice is to keep going. Eight of Swords. But here, here's what I'm seeing. You stop. You, you always stop yourself with your mind. And so again, this falling underneath this action and the boxing gloves here, it's it keeps giving me the same message. Don't let your mind stop your heart. Don't let your mind. This is a clear a case of heart over mind. But again, ego over courage. Your ego stomping over your courage so at times you feel like this courage to move forward and then you start thinking too much and you pull yourself back so what this is saying if you keep on, on the cycle you're going to keep manifesting push and pull and you're going to stay in the same place for longer than you need to and seven of pentacles that is why things are not accelerating that's why things have been so slow and it seems like you either you know, take this reading and make some changes. So when you start overthinking, get yourself to the gym, go for a walk, go run, go do something else, go talk to a friend. Don't allow yourself to sit there and think because it's going to keep putting you in the same position of planning and not doing anything about it. And what we want to do is plan and start doing things about it instead of allowing your mind to trap you because right now your mind is your own worst enemy because you do overthink. As much as you do have a gift when it comes to communicating, you also stop yourself a lot because you overthink things, okay? You could have a lot of air in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? You could have some Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but I mean, bless you if you have like all these emotions and all these feelings, but in, in, paired up with all this thinking, you really need to put the fire in there, uh, wherever you have fire in your chart. And if you don't have fire in your chart, like in, in placements, in big placements, um, then you can always find someone who you see that fire in and you can learn from them and you can move out of your comfort zone. Because of course, you know, anything we don't have, it, it moves us out of our comfort zone, but it's worth working on because we're not meant to be limited by our astrological charts. We're meant to trans. Okay, so a new start is coming. So it seems like something new is about to take place. I do believe this means that you're coming out of this cycle. You're going to make that decision to come out of that cycle here of overthinking and stopping yourself, yourself in 
Um, for some of you, what I see here is you're going to become obsessed with some form of exercise or um, moving out of your your mind too much, and it's almost going to be like your new obsession, but also there's something new here on the horizon when it comes to your career. There's something new. Now, I'm not being shown anything big when it comes to money or anything like that, but I do see that you needed whatever message transpired. And if you want more messages, you would probably benefit from watching one of the other piles. I normally don't have any of the, the, that, that type of recommendations in pile number one, but for, for some reason, um, this is more of like an overall energy here that I'm picking up. And if you want more answers about what's next, then, you know, watching one of the other piles would probably be beneficial. So that was your reading pile one. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Uh, let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not resonate, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. If you want extra content, it is on Patreon. And because we don't have as many subscribers on Patreon, those messages are more um, personal than these ones, okay? Just because there's a lot less people I'm reading for there. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all and see you sometime soon. Bye, till next time. Welcome, Paul. 2. You chose the diamond. So, what is next for you in career and finances with the diamond here? So the number 20 could be relevant to you. The number 2. Um, two weeks, two days, two months. February could be significant. The 20th of a month. 20 years old could be significant. And second house, money. Money and self-worth. Money connected to self-worth. The more you... The more you value yourself, the more others will value you, the more money you will make is what I'm getting here. With the diamond, diamonds as you may or may not know are formed of, under an immense amount of pressure and heat to get to the point where they are um, these very valuable gems. Um, and so time and pressure here combined is what I see when it comes to your path, when it comes to career and finances. So it's been a long time coming. You've been under a lot of pressure, but contrary to what you may think, you may think that this there is no time or you're not getting anywhere, but when you do get, get where you're meant to go, and I do see this as being something big, you're going to look back and you're going to see why so much time and so much pressure was applied and why you went through all that you went through because you needed all of that as experiences to build you up to this point where you are this diamond. You are the diamond. That is what I'm seeing here. And so the beauty of where you're about to arrive is coming from that strength and all those trials and challenges that you had to overcome and how that strengthened you and how that made you create new neuro pathways in your own mind to solve situations. And I don't think you're fully aware of just how far you've come and where you're about to go. So I think this is big for you guys, okay? I think this is big. So let me just open the... Uh, frame here, zoom out, and I actually want to do after that for you guys. Tenth house, yes, visibility, notoriety, responsibility, acknowledgement, authority, power, Venus, yes, abundance, magnetizing and Capricorn someone here is either already a boss becoming a boss about to be famous about to be given a position of more responsibility also better pay um, being acknowledged recognized and put in position of authority here 
um, earning a lot of respect for those around you, you're going to be crowned in some way, shape, or form when it comes to your career, and there's a lot of abundance coming in from that. Um, you're this diamond shining and really standing out here is what I'm seeing. If you're a, a business owner, a boss, entrepreneur, um, leader of some kind, you're definitely going to be getting a lot of abundance for your position here. A lot of, um, there's a harvest, there's a, a reward. You're going to be rewarded for that time, that discipline that you've been putting into things. I'm seeing Saturnian energy. Like you've done everything you had to do to get to this point. You knew what you were doing. It wasn't random. You could have Libra or Taurus in your part in your chart as well. The Bardo. And we have the number 50, could be significant, but we also have the number 5, which is change. You're definitely going through a death and a rebirth here when it comes to your career and your finances. You're going through a huge transition, but this transition here, it's been arduous. It's been um, heavy, right? But the heaviness is lifting and you're coming into that place. It's that pressure that put you through and it seemed like it was the end for you. It seemed like you were never going to get to where you wanted to go. And you felt like this was the end of the line for you when it came to career and finances. But just as you're losing hope, that's where everything changes and turns around and you get a really big surprise from the universe here. Saturn. That was the only thing missing from the dice because we already had 10th house and Capricorn. I love these synchronicities. See, see these are pre-shuffled. These are not. So to get Saturn there after I mentioned Saturn, after we got the 10th house and Capricorn, which is, you know, ruled by Saturn, um, that is interesting. So you've acquired a certain amount of wisdom here. You have been disciplined. You've been structured. You've been strategic. You've been responsible. You've been put through test after test, restraint after restraint, oppression after oppression, right? But you've remained ambitious. You've, you've, you've kept working through the challenges and the trials and all the difficulties. You became, you, you just, you just did whatever you could to keep going, be practical. Uh, you had to exert a lot of self-control. You had to sh sometimes save face and show a brave face when you were crumbling inside. You had to, um, conform. You, you had to know when to be silent and when, when it was time to speak. So there's, there's a certain level of maturity that you've achieved and lessons you've learned that have gotten you to this point where this change is now possible. Um, and we have communication here, Mercury communication. You could have a Gemini or a Virgo in your chart. Um, but the way you communicate, um, what you've learned throughout the years is very effective. It's very authoritative. And people really respect what you have to say, respect what you think, because you've gotten to this point where you've, you've proven that your words carry wisdom. So when you say something to, I don't know, an employee or someone who, um, you're, you're, who is um, working for you, they really take that and they respect that. It's not like they are afraid of you or they, they, they do it because they have to. No, they really truly respect what you say. If you are in any field that requires you to be a communicator or a leader of sorts, your words, people want to hear what you have to say because they hold value and they see the value in your words. Also because you've also re realized what your value is. And so um, there's also this broader awareness that you're going to come into or you're already in, at this point where you have become aware of just how valuable that wisdom you hold is in those experiences. And um, so what I see here is you you have this, this vision and you, you've acquired this extraordinary ability to communicate effectively and in a, a way that is wise and a way that people want to listen to what you have to say that is going to take you further when it comes to your career and your finances. 
Yeah, some of you could be artists or very artistic in the way that you express yourself and get your point across. But it says also engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career in every other area of your life. So even if you're not an artist, it's nice to sometimes uh, get away from work and create something like painting or something with your hands, something where you don't have to um, be uh, dealing with thoughts and analysis all day long. But if you are an artist, I do see you're going to be famous for your artistry, okay? Those of you who are artists, whatever kind of artist, visual arts, performing arts, whatever that is for you, your art will be recognized, applauded, and famous, okay? And very supported, and there's a lot of financial abundance coming from that as well. Same thing if you work with flowers, okay? For those of you who work with flowers, the same thing I'm seeing for those of you who work with flowers. Now, um, in any way that is, whether it's florals or floral arrangements, um, working with flowers will open your heart and bring blessings to others through your life purpose. Now, again, if you don't work in any of these fields of being an artist or a florist or whatever, already um, working with florals or having being around spending time around flowers or if you're not allergic of course or doing something artistic maybe with flowers or maybe without flowers or with colors is going to be very beneficial to um, create to help your creative juices flow because I think I'm looking at someone who is extremely responsible and doing things in a way that you know it works and it's effective but at times you may experience creative block and when you do and you don't come up you don't find the solution sometimes engaging in something that has nothing to do with whatever serious kind of business you're doing is going to help you with that now if you already are in these fields of flowers and artistry that is going to be very 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 successful oracle cards and for those of you who work with oracle cards same thing same thing applies. You are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. That's going to go really well, and maybe you're going to become famous for that. For others of you, um, there's going to be more readings coming through that are going to bring you answers, okay? Support. There's definitely, I see people supporting what you're doing, okay? And the more you focus on your life purpose, like let's say you have been thinking of changing jobs to something um, that aligns more with your soul. You're being supported, okay? Environmentalist. For some of you, it's doing something in nature and it says you're an earth angel who, ha who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and animals. So for some of you, that is your line of work and that is being validated in this reading. All right. So let's see with the tarot what we have. What's next for you? Finances and career. The high priestess. High Priestess, Six of Wands, oh yeah, absolutely, success, yes, yes, um, Seven of Swords, all right, Knave of Pentacles, yes, and Ten of Cups, beautiful, all right guys, so here's what I'm seeing, you could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Pisces in your chart, also possibly Libra or Taurus or Gemini again Virgo yeah I think I think I said all the signs that are coming through so your intuition is serving you well keep following your intuition because you're going to be victorious you're gonna win you're gonna succeed you're gonna get the applause you're gonna get the fame you're gonna get the acknowledgement and you're gonna be inspiring a lot of people but with seven of swords there you may feel at times that you are you're having what is that called syndrome like uh, imposter syndrome but that is self-sabotaging thoughts okay um, whenever that happens just switch to strategizing okay if you're having self-sabotaging thoughts about being um, a sin like imposter syndrome just take your thoughts off that and because it's not true okay it's like you you always think you don't know enough you're not wise enough and you sabotage yourself, okay? Even though you keep wor working, even though you keep proving yourself, even though your work speaks for itself, you keep doubting yourself. But your work does speak for itself. 
people see it, people support it. And the only advice is just keep following what you love doing because that's what's going to get you further. The more emotionally connected you are to your work, the more famous and wealthy you will be for it. Okay? The Hermit. Virgo energy. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that you need to do in silence. The advice here is keep moving in silence. Don't tell a lot of people about what you're thinking of doing next because that could um, be, um, that could sabotage you because there's something about you sharing what you're doing that is not beneficial. Um, but also don't be too hard on yourself. The chariot, yeah. Keep moving in silence. That's what I'm getting because that's what's going to get you far. Moving in silence will be your ticket to success. Something about September and July is standing out now as well as February. Okay. Ace of Swords with the Seven of Swords. Don't overthink things. There's a new beginning here for you. You're going to get a truth revealed or someone's going to come and reveal something to you when you least expect it. The magician, keep manifesting the future. You're on the right path. You're manifesting something entirely new when it comes to your career here and you need to do this in silence. Keep working toward it. It's working. Knight of Chalices because very soon you're going to have some good news about doing something that you love doing here. Okay. And I do see wealth and fame for pile number two here. Right now, there's a need for you to balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. So I'm seeing mid-September is significant here. Second week of September. First week of September as well. Um, I see here that you are... A very hard worker you do follow your intuition but whenever you're doubting yourself go back to stop everything you're doing and meditate take deep breaths and take your mind off things okay you're manifesting some really good news about something that you're gonna love doing here and it's it's, there's going to be someone coming in bringing you this good news. And I'm seeing all these people turn to this person who's working in silence here. So I see a lot of people coming to you. It's just very interesting how they're all turned to you. And they're all respecting you. And they're all waiting to hear from you. Okay, so this one's bringing you good news. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. There's a Gemini here who is helping you manifest more money. And there's someone here who is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who's going to bring you a truth that is going to help you strategize. And there's, there's going to be someone who's going to bring you an opportunity to be very, very successful. So I just see opportunities here and good news coming your way. They're all coming your way, one by one. For those of you who have your own business, I see a lot of clients. I see you selling a lot of products and services. People are going to come to you for whatever it is you do. They see you as the authority in whatever it is you do. And they really respect what you do or your product or your service. So I see things going really well for you. Pile number two, that was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. 1717 17 on the clock that could mean something it was a pleasure to read for you thank you for liking sharing commenting and subscribing it helps the channel it helps me bring you more if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel go ahead and uh, hit the bell for notifications extra content is now on patreon and again because there are not as many subscribers there the readings there are a lot more personal information for that is in the description box. It was a pleasure to, to read for you guys today. Bless you all. I'll see you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time. Welcome pile three. If you chose pyrite, this is your reading. Um, so this is what's next for you in finances and career. So the number 45 could be relevant to you as well as the number nine. It seems like you're closing a cycle. A cycle that you're closing where 
things used to seem a lot more shinier than you discovered that they actually weren't, is what I'm seeing here. Fool's gold, pyrite. Um, but at the same time, this cycle that you're closing taught you about your self-worth. Because it seems like you used to place a lot of worth on others, and then you discovered that actually they're also all figuring things out the same way you are. And so um, you realize in the midst of all this, wait a second, well, if that makes them worthy, then I have all these things that make me worthy. And so you, there was this process of discovery of this genuine abundance within, and that it all comes from within. And also, you know, how you package yourself is important here, and how you market yourself is extremely important. How you dress, how you present yourself, what your mission statement is, what your message is, and, you know, how you can bring value to other people's lives. And so focusing on this message, and there's something in this process of this close cycle that you're closing that has taught you about marketing yourself, packaging yourself, and how important that is. Because, you know, how valuable is truly what other people are selling or, you know, providing um, or exchanging money for? And, you know, um, it, it doesn't really... Um, matter. What matters is how you package it, okay? And so for some reason, this is your message today, is packaging. Um, doesn't mean it doesn't have worth, but, um, you know, I feel at times people want to be perfectionists. And of course, minerals such as gold or pyrite or anything else that um, nature offers uh, has its own value in the market depending on uh, a number of things, right? Durability or shiny shine or um, weight, uh, th that kind of thing. And so there's this concept of yes, you can add all these things, but you can still make a living. You know, depending, no matter uh, what uh, stage you are in life, you can always make a living. And so. There's a sense here of a need to appreciate yourself and to focus on your strengths rather on, than on what you consider to be shortcomings. Um, but fortunately, I feel you have already discovered that you do have value. And you know, unfortunately, we spend most of our 20s uh, thinking we have no value or looking for that within or needing to affirm ourselves in, in a various number of ways to see what what sticks, what works, and um, sometimes the people who realize sooner that we all have something valuable to offer are the ones who make it earlier in life, or sooner in life. So let's see, let's open the frame here and see what the astrodites may have for us. Aquarius, so you can have Aquarius in your chart. Or there could be something about your long-term goals and dreams, the 12th house, the number 12, and Saturn. All right. Okay, so what's next? What is next? Um, a lot of hard work. Sorry, that's not Saturn. That is Jupiter. Is that Saturn or Jupiter? That's Jupiter. Okay, so I said hard work for a reason. Your The universe will be generous toward you will bless you and reward you for your past hard work. Yes. And especially for the work with the 12th house here that you've done on yourself, your, and, and um, accepting and appreciating yourself and understanding that your goals are valid, your contribution is valid. For some of you I see in the future, you're getting some kind of a following or online clients or a fans, a fan base, something like that, and you this you don't see this coming. You, this has been building in secret or behind the scenes for you, and it's it's going to show itself, like the number of clients that you're going to get, or the number of supporters, or followers, or fans, or whatever this is. Um, you're going to be influencing a large number of people, either with your words, your products, or your services. Um, it's going to reach far and wide. I do see global here. For some of you, you're going to have to travel overseas or long distance here. Um, or you're going to be working with a different culture. 
some of you could be doing um, psychic work as well. A leader. You're going to become some kind of maybe spiritual leader or for some of you, that's not for all of you. Or a leader and an authority in your field. It could be healing or medicine. Okay. Teaching could be also teaching at university. You could be teaching something to do with medical medical degrees, teacher in medicine or something to do with chemi chemi chemistry, physics, um, healing sciences, something to do with that possibly for some of you. Okay, um, so take what resonates, of course, the vision. You're definitely, you definitely have a strong vision and there's someone in your vicinity or will be who, who shares your vision. You could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart. There's something about your wisdom. The number 55 could be relevant, so that's big changes. 10 and 1, new beginnings. There's a new beginning, a vision. And we have the mountain there. It's the first time I see the mountain in this card. Oh my word. Look, the mountain came out in pile number 1. That was pile number 1. Look. So there's a message in pile number one for you, okay? And possibly in pile number two as well. Interesting. And look, and there's a message in pile one where you find someone who shares your vision. This is so weird. Okay, well, that synchronicity is for you. Okay, so, yeah. If for some of you, you could be working with your divine counterpart, with your romantic partner, okay? With your lover. That's so interesting. Possibly one of you could have Leo in their chart or your chart. Or maybe you're not even working with a lover, but this is screaming, you know, um, work and love couple for some of you. Um, that is also about creativity and expression, possibly being on a stage, being seen. So that is taking me back to pile number two for some of you, where there could be a message if you are like a performer, okay? Working with children is also possible here. Working with children. Some of you are going to have a career in parenting. Like, your being a parent will be your career, okay? Um, that's just for who wants that, okay? I'm not trying to push anything on to... Um, there's a sense of self-confidence. Feeling very confident. Glowing when it comes to your career path. Bedazzling others. Yeah, pyrite. Really glowing and shining wherever whatever your field is you're going to glow and shine and you're going to get to the top of that mountain and there's going to be someone supporting you and holding your hand through the process either going with you or helping you get there okay i do see a romantic partner a spiritual romantic partner is going to be very significant on your path and very supportive whether they're doing this with you or supporting you to get there okay because i'm seeing a lot of like private support from someone a lot of privacy when it comes to the support that you're getting working in private working behind the scenes before you show what you're doing but when you do you're absolutely ready ninth house long distance travel but also challenging yourself and allowing yourself to expand and that is this jupiter energy also the ninth house and the twelfth house are very similar spiritually and when it comes to certain areas of expansion such as spirituality for some of you for some of you it's the pursuit of higher education and that's the confirmation that you're going to get into that university whether it's as a student or as a teacher okay some of you you're going to get a job in long distance travel such as air travel uh, boat travel even road travel if it's that long of a distance um, for some of you this is journalism or religion okay there's definitely a sense of possibly foreign travel or an adventure or working in the travel industry here or online, reaching many cultures, reaching many people around the globe. But this is about taking a risk. Some of you are going to become like gurus or something like that. Yeah, body work. Some of you are going to be famous for tattoos or any physical therapy or exercise training. 
For some of you, you are personal trainers or phys physical therapists or energy healers, massage therapists or tattoo artists. Okay, that's just to confirm that for some of you, that could be your line of work and you may be going global or you may be doing something online and showing your work or something. Freedom, you're going to be free to do what you choose. Okay, so there's a lot of freedom. Some of you are creating digital products that are going to go worldwide that are going to offer you freedom to travel. You're going to have the freedom to travel. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Your dreams could be showing you your career path. Your feelings are your intuition speaking to you about your career path, showing you your career path. Okay. Um, let go, walk away from a situation to resolve it. So if you're not finding a solution by trying so hard to find the solution, just let go and it will resolve itself. And your heart's desires. Focus on what it is you want. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. So whatever your heart's desire is, is what you're going to achieve when it comes to your career and your finances, okay? You're going to have enough money to be free, to go wherever you want to go, to live wherever you want to live. I do see that. Ace of Wands. A new passionate beginning when it comes to your career and your finances. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but also possibly air travel, okay? And movement, a lot of movement. Death, Scorpio energy, a transition, a death and a rebirth, so a total transformation when it comes to your career and your finances. Four of Swords. Okay, um, healing, thinking, meditating, waiting. A lover, higher level soulmate, but also an important decision ahead. So maybe you're going to relocate with your partner for work, or you're going to be able to be a digital nomad, or you're going to have to, or you're going to meet a higher level soulmate when you relocate to either study or work somewhere for some of you. But let's clarify the Ace of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Whatever this you're passionate about, that's leading you toward wealth and stability. So where you're going is toward financial abundance, okay? Beautiful. Queen of Swords. Um, your communication skills could be a big thing here. Um, you're, you're pairing reason with intuition here, and it's and it's leading you to where you need to be. The end of toxicity in toxic thinking, beautiful. Um, the end of stopping yourself, the end of the obstacles when it comes to getting to where you want. Yeah, temperance. There is healing when it comes to how you think in terms of where you want to go. And so you're transmuting negative into positive and you're alchemizing your situation when it comes to your career and your finances to get you to this wealth. And you're going to know, but there's a choice that you need to make here. You're going to have to choose and juggle something here. A choice. There's a choice here between doing what you love and what could potentially bring you money, but understanding that doing what you love will bring you money. You're going to have to make an important practical decision that may involve relocation, okay? But you're going to be making money from what it is that you love doing. I do see that. Um, but it's going to be a process, okay? You're going to have to... Trust that the universe will always be generous with you. So what I see is you're making a lot of money, but you're also spending a lot of money, if that makes sense. But it's it's a phase you're in, and you need, and that's how it needs to be done right now. Show the world the real you. I just heard that saying that says, "Time, you time doesn't you don't get time back, but you can get money back." Okay. Show the world the real you. You need to be authentic and genuine and show the world who you truly are because that's what's going to reward you. Aquarius energy here. Mid 
August will be important here, the first two weeks of August. You're going to come full circle. But right now the focus needs to be on trusting that being genuinely authentic and vulnerable and expressing who you are is what's going to get you far and let go of um, toxic thoughts that would hold you back from being truly authentic, genuine, and expansive with your heart's desire and what you truly want. So get to know yourself. Get acquainted with yourself. Um, I do see it would be beneficial for you to like get a life purpose report or um, know yourself through, through astrology, numerology, um, to know exactly who you genuinely truly are and then express that because that's what's going to get you closer to your heart's desires when it comes to your finances and your career. Pile 3, that was your message. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you. Thank you for watching, uh, commenting, liking, subscribing, and sharing. It helps the channel. It helps bring you more. Extra content is on Patreon. And of course, because we have less subscribers there, the readings are a lot more um, personal because there's less people. So if you want information for that, there's um, the information is in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you. I'll see you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time.